Okay, it is literally, what's the time? 3.30 and I just woke up. But um, here is five things I think you need to know before you come down to Otago University. This is just from my experience, so don't take it to thing because everyone has different experiences. First year halls are the best thing for you when you first come to university. Doesn't matter which hall, if you're a big hall, small hall, all of them do the same things for you because you get to meet heaps of new friends. You get to get into the culture of university when you start. But you also get to experience things that people who are in flats don't. For example, you don't have to pay your bills. Well, you have to pay bills, like monthly, whatever you choose, weekly, whatever. But it covers everything, food, electricity, um, washing, everything, so you don't have to worry about anything, and that's a really important thing when you first come, you don't have to worry about anything but study, you go home to your hall, study, go to class, study, do whatever you want, it's almost like living in your college really, or having a camp for the whole year. <laughs> come down will always tell you that the university doesn't care about you but I think that is wrong I thought the same thing I thought that the university didn't care all they cared about was you know they get paid and that's it the lecturers only there to get paid da, da, da. but until you yourself go and do something really you got no excuse to, to say that the university doesn't care they do care but you're the one who has to go and seek their help I remember when I first started uh, I didn't like to go to anyone I just kept to myself go do what I thought I was right and say that no one wanted to help me but it's because I didn't go out and get the help that I needed that that is why ultimately you won't do well because you don't go out and seek the help yourself I mean we're adults now so you're gonna have to go do that kind of stuff and for them if you don't go to them seeking help they'll just assume that you're right number four you have to seek your help not say that the university doesn't care because they do care there are so much support systems in Otago like you don't really have an excuse to not go and get help. culture change like the Dunedin is a different breed drinking culture the people the way things are done the university lifestyle it is so much different to a lot of people and how they live at home when you're there, down here most people are away from home so you have to do your own stuff I mean there's gonna be there's gonna be a big change for a lot of people you have to prepare yourself to do your own study not get harassed to do your own study from your teachers because the lecturers won't do that for you. You have to prepare yourself for distractions, whether they be girls, drinking, food, etc, etc, because that is a big thing down here, like, you can get distracted so easily because some people are away from home for the first time, they have no one telling them what to do for the first time, so they're basically doing whatever they want. A lot of people, for example, might go to church on Sundays. And when they come down here, they stop going to church on Sundays, which is taking away a big part of their life. So I would say to you to just keep it, keep it real, 
but you know go have a little bit of fun as well but don't lose yourself in the, in the making you have to prepare to do your own washing some people haven't even done their own washing do your own dishes some people don't do their own dishes so depending on where you're coming from it may change what what's going to happen to you what you're going to learn you really need to be prepared to become independent or adapt to a different style of learning, adapt to the different culture that Dunedin has and you know if you're going to study at Otago you have to do those things otherwise you're just going to get stuck in this spiral and not really having a good university experience I guess. I would highly recommend that you go out and find uh, good friends. Drinking, drinking, drinking has got a big part of the student culture down here and one thing I highly suggest to you is that you don't do it a lot. I mean, some people do do it a lot and are fine with it, but that, that's the small majority. Um, I guess once you start drinking and stuff like that, you're going to keep wanting to drink. And you might not even have the money to do it, but you're still going to do it. So I would suggest that, you know, go out and have a good time. Don't go out to go get stuffed up or... I think we're on number two now. Number two. Oh, shit. Stay. That is way, way, way harder than what you think. If you think that NCA is hard, come to uni. It is way harder. A lot of people come here thinking, oh, it's easy. Um, university is just like college, or university is like five steps, maybe even more above college or college level. For me, I would say do not believe all the publicity and stuff that are out there because it is not true. They say, oh, come here because this and that and this and that. But no, do not listen to that because it is not true. Like, oh my gosh, I thought that this was going to be the easiest time of my life. Come to uni, pass everything and get my degree and I'm good. But it is not that easy. I have to do maybe 30, 40 hours of study to be able to remember this stuff especially if you're in science you have to you have to go to tutorials you have to go to lectures you have to be consistent with what you're doing to be able to even make grades or get the grades that you want you don't want to be sitting around and doing nothing not going to tutorials not going to classes because i can guarantee if you don't do that you're done if you get stuck 15, 20 lectures behind, you might be lucky to even pass. So it, it is, I can't stress enough how hard it is. But in saying that, that's from my experience, for some other people it might not be hard, but from my experience it is hard. When you come to Otago, it's gonna get 10 times more stress. <laughs> dumb one cliche I think you'll appreciate your family and everything that's at home before you come here or oh, when you come here because you know when you come here you're basically by yourself you don't have your mum to come clean up for you you don't have your mum to do your washing or anything like that so um, have fun at your hometowns before you come down take your time at home you know because you're gonna miss it and remember you're down here for almost a whole year have fun at home when I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took for